Hi there friends, how are you all doing today? My name is Rabbit and thank you yet again for joining me for another episode of Let's Play Eternal Eyes on the PlayStation 1. Y'all, we're just diving right in. As you can see on the screen, I am bringing you back as promised following me redoing floor number one. Actually, I ended up doing it twice just because I wanted to have an even bigger pool of jewels to choose from and just combinations that I could try while stringing together random sequences and I've been doing this for a minute. I'm a little sick of it to be quite honest, but I finally figured out some sort of concoction that is going to allow Lafern to evolve. I did pick up some equipment as well for the puppet, so basically accessories, but we'll gloss all over that in just a second. I, I want to take a minute just to point out that Prior to getting Lafern to this point, as you can see, there is a red jewel that was queued as well as a yellow one that followed that. And now I'm wrapping this recipe up with a pink wisdom. Again, I shared with you guys that while the sub attributes such as, you know, holy beast, wisdom, power, while those might influence what people turn into, I, I wonder if sometimes or depending on what your puppet evolved from, that it doesn't matter and it's more based on the actual color of the orb itself. But again, I don't know. It seems like the evolution process in this game is unnecessarily complex and without any information really being provided to you. So it's all just a fucking guessing game at this point, but I digress. So we are ready to throw this pink wisdom at her. Don't know if you'd have this option unlock if it was pink holy that you had or pink power you had instead, but I'm assuming you would still be in this position. So let's go ahead and do it. Evolves at level 15 or higher. Holy shit, I'm so behind you guys. Lafern is level 64, but better late than never. Let's see what we... You're kidding. This game, it cannot be fucking serious with me right now. Did this just turn into Moosku? What we started out with eons ago? I don't even know what to say. Uh, Y'all, I feel like I just got epically trolled. And I don't know if that's the case. I mean, the spells are the same. What the fuck? This can't be real. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I am genuinely, genuinely speechless. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it came back full circle. This isn't the end of the world, but it, it feels a little bit bad. Well, Okay, let me give her back the shit that she had. I believe it was the pointy horn and, oh my goodness, you guys, I can't even, and the gas mask, that's what she had going on. But her HP is just trash now. I, why, why game? So, okay, let me, y'all, I might legitimately reload. Thank goodness I saved. Well, obviously I had to save if I was gonna be throwing shit at people and then it not turning any, into anything and me needing to redo it, but oh my God, that is seriously, I don't I don't know if I got trolled or if it means that early on when we had Mus Muscu, that it was a mistake to change it, or I don't know, maybe, maybe it's fine. I, okay, whatever, I can't dwell on this. So showing you guys what I picked up, I got a pair of bear claws, have the devastating power of a grizzly bear, one slash could tear the enemy apart. I also got dragon claws, which I ended up giving to, did I give it to her rush? I actually don't remember if I've equipped these yet or not, but we'll check that out in a moment. But these have the terrifying power of a dragon. One slash could split the earth. And then the last thing that you probably saw looked a little peculiar. We had not seen this before. It is the Kempo Gi, which is a suit for Shorinji Kempo. Makes you feel a lot stronger. I'm not really using it right now, I, although I probably should, <laughs> looking at what I've got going on with Muscu. So just, yeah, y'all, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? This is not how I was, I was expecting things to turn out, but you know, it's, 
It's an interesting turn of events. Oh, and it looks like I put it on Olivier, so he got the dragon claws. That's right, I switched out the muscle belt for it. So it was a nice upgrade. He didn't lose any stats in the exchange, so it was a good choice. As for Lafern, you know what? Let me pause. Let me see if there was another option. I'm not gonna take forever, I promise. We'll be right back in just a second, and then we're just throwing orbs at people and we're moving on, because I can't be here all day. Uno momento, por favor. Okie dokie, friends, welcome back. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. That actually didn't take too long. I did, as you can see, the same base for this recipe where it's a red followed by a yellow, but instead of the pink that we used previously, I scroll down here to the white section and white wisdom seems to also give Lafern the option of evolving. So I'm not sure what's up with the Muscu thing and I might end up reloading again and just backpedaling to Muscu, but I wanted to at least see if there was something else because so far we've seen with all of our other evolutionary options, there's been the opportunity to do a second one based on the final orb that you throw at it. So I don't know if that's always the case that basically there's a fork with every single puppets that you make. I, I really don't know how evolving works in this game, but again, I don't wanna spend too much more time on it. Let's just throw white wisdom at Lafern and she turns into Satapio. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I, the disappointment that I'm feeling right now, I don't know if words can adequately convey my feelings right now, but at least all of her spells are the same, I guess. Oh my God. Okay. Give me another minute. I'm going to just throw some accessories on her. I might just do the rest of the orb throwing shit. Not going to worry about it. If no one turns into anything, the stats that change, it's gonna be a negligible difference. And then we're just gonna head into floor number two. So give me one more second, y'all. Okay, just kidding. So I was saying that I was just gonna throw some random orbs and keep it moving so we could dive into floor number two of this fucking tower. Chalet, I think is the bitch's name. But I decided I was gonna be a loser and spend another 10 minutes throwing the rest of my orbs at people to see if I could finally get a W with these <laughs> evolutions. I feel like since Harash and, you know, arguably Olivier, I've been taking some hard L's with regard to the forms that we've been getting. So fingers crossed. I don't know if there's another option that we have with Olivier and where he can go. But as you can see, the recipe so far is green. Uh, is that pink again? I think it's pink because red is actually red. I wish they would just call that pink purple. That throws me off every single time. But yes, yeah, so it's green, pink. And now I'm here with White Beast, and that is what is giving me the option to evolve at level 15 or higher. I mean, I guess we could look. I don't think anything else that I scrolled through, like this doesn't do anything, so blue is not the answer. I don't think green, yep, that is also not the answer, and red would kick him back to the beginning as well. So the only thing we have in this path, assuming that you know, it does branch like I was kind of musing aloud just a little bit ago. It, it seems like White Beast is really all we can do right now. So let's just throw this at Olivier and he became Hell Armor. Okay, I'm actually happy about this. It's just the color swap of what he was before. There's nothing to be too disappointed in with this. So oh, I will, I'll take this <laughs> as a victory. And I'm just not gonna sweat it anymore because holy shit, you guys, it's it's been a little interesting. But okay, he's got the same things back on. Ice Horn as well as Dragon Claws, just in a different order. Haresh is also in good shape. This is what he had previously. I don't think there was anything new that I wanted to give to him. And then for Lafern, I decided to give her the Kempo G or Kempo G as opposed to the gas mask once again. I think Satapio is a little bulkier than Sylph was. So I just, I liked the way the Kempo G spread out some of the defensive stats a little bit more than what the gas mask gave her. So I think that's it for all the random shit I was wanting to do. What do you guys say? We just take these last couple of orbs that we've got. Oh, learn magic. That reminds me. We should see if Olivier is starting over, they might have 
wiped. Oh, they didn't completely wipe the slate clean. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, I don't think that these types of puppets are meant to be spell-based anyway, so e even if it had completely started him over, I, I don't think it really matters. But okay, let's go ahead and throw Red Beast at Olivier, and he learned Gigia. I was just saying in our last episode that that was a new spell that we've not encountered, and I should say that we've not possessed, nor that we've encountered. Yes, that is, that is what I am, oh my gosh. Nothing for Haresh, but Lafern also has the option. I feel so bad for Haresh. Tomento, almost like tomato. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm like, just, I'm so done. I spent so long throwing these things, and I'm so upset with Lafern turning into this. But the other option is what? Like, what is truly my other option? Just turning it or turning her into Muscu again? Why would I do that? I just, I just oh my god. I feel. Like, the game really, really trolled me, and, you know, maybe it's okay, and it doesn't matter at the end of the day. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Like, either way you slice it, we're gonna get through this victoriously, but it feels bad, y'all. It just feels a little bad, but okay, let's go ahead and just dive right in. I mean, we've already eaten up probably half of the, the scope of this episode with my bullshit, so... Oh my god, but do you see the things I do for you guys, the energy, the time, the effort, the mental capacity that gets inserted into the process of me giving you some variety. It comes at the expense of my sanity, but anything for you guys, <laughs> you are welcome. And ooh, a new face, and this thing looks a little crazy, very Looney Tunes-y, I would say. Its name is Hurricane, pretty fitting, angry face, and looks like wild winds there. It's got Lavina, Freezeburn, and Bashama. Oh, I'm such a piece of shit. I didn't even look at the new spells that we had. Well, we'll test them out as we go. Everyone's going to get a turn, so might as well do it in battle than wasting everyone's time. I am going to just take a few steps forward, and you guys already know the drill with me. I'm going to let the enemies approach me because it makes me feel a little safer to not just throw myself too far forward. But while I've got a minute, my hammer, all right, Gigia, we've seen the description for that before. I think Olivier learned something else though. Tomento, or was that Lafern that picked that up? I think he got two though. I don't think I've used rock on you yet, have I, sir? I'll have to rectify that ASAP. Maybe I'm full of shit and he didn't learn anything else? I don't think I'm full of shit, but I guess it's not that important. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw the description there while I was pulling some things aside. So all that's really left to get into, I think these are the fourth forms and Haresh is the only one left back in his third form and oh my God, Satapio cannot move for shit. I'm already missing Sylph, but it had to happen, right? We had to move forward. We had to upgrade our puppets. Oh, here we go. So Tomento, recovery from the MDF status. That's garbage. What? Okay, I can't, I can't deal with this. <laughs> I just can't think about it and dwell on it too much. I get so comfortable with my puppets, but I want to constantly be evolving them and making them stronger because I don't want to be under leveled by the end fight just because of my desire to have the comfort of stability and familiarity. I don't want to be that person, but it's times like this that makes me realize why I am this person. I just get so triggered when changes like this come out of nowhere. It ruins my day. But ooh, 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 ooh that's right. You missed. Get wrecked. Haresh is not one to mess around. But I also need to be careful because Haresh doesn't have a lot of HP. He's honestly quite squishy, which surprised me the first time I started actually looking through stats and kind of comparing my puppets. Haresh could easily die. And we've been fortunate that we've only had one puppet kind of get its ass kicked and get reverted to its inanimate state. But I could see it happening with Haresh if there was anyone in my party that did, that I was gonna, I guess, put my money on them dying. It would be him. So I gotta be on my A-game and not get too immersed in my own little world. But speaking of my own little world, I was sharing with you guys just the trolling of life and with car shopping, the first 
place we went. The sales guy was an absolute nutbag, total douchebag. But I have to say, so I guess moving into the, the next couple of places I went, the second place that we visited was actually quite nice. I looked at th two, two cars. One of them I didn't end up sitting in because I could tell from the outside that it was too long. As you guys know, I'm a very petite girl and I just have to be picky about things like this, which I think this dealer, the I should say the salesperson at this dealership, I think he was a little thrown off as well that I was being very particular about the size of the vehicle. Yet at the same time, I didn't want a car. So in this case, he was fine. I wouldn't say that I had a great experience with this salesperson. He wasn't friendly, but he was attentive. So I think, you know, he was a guy that he knew he had a job to do and he wanted to do it well. He was listening to what I had to say. I don't think he quite agreed with my thought processes on some things, but it's more than likely because he was wanting to make a sale and collect that commission. So I think we both were very wary of the other person, but at the same time we worked I think decently well enough together where I told him what I was looking for. If he showed me something I didn't want, it was kind of like, eh. And then if he showed me something I was so-so with, I had him pull it out and I sat in it and gave it a nice little whirl and it was all good. So I was sharing with you guys some of the models that my eyes have been, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to do something a little different. I've been spamming tempera for a while but we have other options so why don't we use Elysian since they're nice and coupled up together this is a good opportunity to use this one I'm trying you guys to pay attention to which spells I'm using and oh my god that's a P.O. oh I mean it's cute and I think I said it was cute when we first encountered it in the lost forest or lost wood god damn it really of course you would break my chest. Why wouldn't you? Why the fuck wouldn't you? And now you're following up with some magic. Lack of douchebag. Holy crap. That's a bit scary. I, okay, I need to not fuck around. I'm like, <laughs> and that's some big ass range. What are they casting? I don't know. I don't know if I really was looking at the spells that they had so much as the names. But we pulled up the spell list. What the fuck is that? What did you just cast on me, sir? Because that is a broken range. Lavina. Oh, I guess I don't have that. I have Levine. Maybe I have Lavina. This is also why. Okay, I'm like telling you two stories at once. I'm complaining about my puppets and trying to talk about cars at the same time. Not a good look. But I think this is also one of the reasons why I've been trying so hard to prioritize upgrading my puppets because the potential to deal significant damage to the enemies it skyrockets with the increased range and just the increased base power of the abilities so i'm i'm trying over here to get some shit going and it's it's fucking me up y'all that's all i really got to say but i guess i can move a little closer this guy i don't believe i can reach him Oh, I actually can. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna stabby stabby a, a little up. Ooh, he lived? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, Tall Rush, I'm worried about you. Who can I absolutely kill? I can kill this thing. Man, rest in peace, our fucking treasure chest. To be fair, though, since I redid floor number one twice, I got so many orbs and I got a couple of decent drops. So, you know, it sucks to lose another orb, but at the same time, I think it's a fine sacrifice to not have my own team die. So in some instances, maybe it's, it's fine for them to shift gears and focus from me to one of the little chests there. All right, let's also use... Why don't we just test out Nebulas? It's been a minute since we've seen that spell. But okay. So yes, second dealership. Just to wrap up this fucking story, so I'm not talking for five episodes about car people, salespeople and car dealerships. But y'all, again, I cannot wait to give you an update if I hear from these fucking people with Brad's dealership. I, I need some sort of justice. It's going to feel so good, so delicious. But maybe I shouldn't get my hopes up, to be honest. Either way, second place was fine. I didn't love the guy that we worked with, but at the same time, Andrew and I were just talking about what a difference it was and how you can have a different personality that's maybe not exceptionally gregarious. And, you know, maybe you're the type of person that 
sales jobs are just something that you're good at, but you don't necessarily love. So you can tell that they are very mindful and they're great listeners and they ask clarifying questions, but they're not very warm and they don't make you feel like you're a part of the, the dealership family. Like, but that's a valid way, I think, of conducting a business. Like, not everyone necessarily even wants to feel like, oh, yeah, I'm a part of the Subaru dealership of Charlotte, like their family or whatever. I'm just making that up. I don't know if that's even <laughs> the name of a place in Charlotte. So, you know, if it is, hey, shout out to you guys. Haven't checked you out yet. San Setsukan. What the fuck are some of these names? It's a little crazy. But the point of what I'm saying is second guy was fine. Not amazing, but he was effective at what he did. The third place we ended up going, I absolutely loved. And I wouldn't be surprised if Even after we look at some of these other places uh, in these upcoming days, if we go back. So I shared with you guys that what I'm thinking, regardless of test driving everything, my thoughts are coming down to the Subaru Forester, but I'm afraid it's going to have the same issues of the new Escapes where it's going to be too big. So if that's the case, uh, the Crosstrek is on my list as well. Honda CRVs as well as Honda it's not in here is it just an item as well as the on Honda HRVs y'all am I tripping where's that sunset oh here it is sunset sukan sunset sukan nunchaku that can be converted into a staff a bit special and we got two of them interesting I wonder if this is an appropriate upgrade for Olivier and for Harash I don't know what I'd get rid of. Not the dragon claws. Maybe the ice horn? My magic defense is going to drop by 20. However, attack goes up a lot. Our physical defense goes up a lot. And our hit rate also goes up a lot. I I think the jury is in with the verdict and it's yes to San Setsu Kon. <laughs> it's a crazy name. I'm having a hard time saying that. But alrighty, let's see. Ice horn for this is... I'm worried though, because Haresh is already so fucking squishy. I could get rid of the white fang, honestly. The only thing that would drop would be magic attack, which fuck that. He doesn't really need that anyway. So yes, that makes sense. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. I wish I could bring up my magic defense more, but the physical defense going up this much is going to make me feel a lot better about throwing Haresh into some more precarious situations because so far I've been not wholly into it I just it's yeah it's been a little questionable but out of curiosity the white fang is yeah no I don't think so and just to scroll through you guys know I'm so bad (laughs) about keeping up with these items I need to go through and just sell a bunch of shit after a while but I haven't been paying enough attention to get her done oh i could also do the gas mask on him attack is gonna go down by 20. however my magic defense is going to go up by 20 and it's going to make it more level with his defense i i'm not sure you guys do we want his physical attack to be a little low i mean we could try it i don't see you know what Let's go ahead and just give it a go. I'm all about experimenting, all about seeing what what can happen. And I think this will make him a little bit bulkier, but he'll still have a good amount of damage to him. I mean, he was at what? Let's just do a quick comparison. Oh, 304 to 222. But again, to be fair, Haresh is still an evolutionary level three whereas Olivier and Lafern are levels four now with their evolutionary line so I don't know maybe I should tinker with Harash a little bit off camera I really don't even want to you guys this is just getting out of control how much I'm having to deal with this but I guess I can I don't even have enough to really try but you know what let me handle my business I will probably redo I'll redo floor number two. Uh, As always, I'll never move forward without you guys. So you can always rest assured of that. Even if I 
in some episode forget to tell you guys when I'm going to redo something or go back or fight for more orbs or jewels or whatever, you can trust that I'm not going into a new floor. So I'm going to go back and redo the second floor just once. If I get a lot of orbs, fabulous. If I get a bunch of garbage items and only like two orbs, it is what it is. And I will just throw the shit myself so that as soon as we open an episode number 38, we are diving into floor number three. We're not doing the shit that we did here in this episode where I try one combination, I hate the outcome, and then I try another one. Ain't nobody got time for that. So thank you as always for bearing with me, everyone, as I <laughs> run through the ramblings of my life and my own personal misadventures. I am so grateful to have you guys here. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Eternal Eyes on the PlayStation 1. And I, your host, Rabbit, look forward to catching up with you fairly soon in video number 38. So take care, be good, and I'll see you guys in just a moment.